So over here, you can see that I have a table and here I have console, total sales and price as you can see right here. So I'm just going to go around and rearrange this out so that the uh, arrangement over here, the totals uh, should remain uh, in the end as you can see right here. And for the metric, I'm just going to go around, bring up the price right here on the top and the total, let's say it is going to be on the metric part right here. So now this is the data that you have, as you can see, but let's say what I want is uh, for the sales right here. If I want to see the sales data, which is going to be after the console itself. So let's say if I want to see the sales and the price data right here, then what I want is I want um, uh, to actually, um, I, I want it to appear only after I drill down these things right here, the, the names of the console. So in that case, what you can do is you can enable drill down and you can choose what you want to drill down from. So right now console is there. You can also drill it down from the price so that that becomes the main data over there. So I'm going to go around and choose console and this is what you have. So if I were to click on view, then you can see that this is what you have right here. So now, if I want to view more data regarding PlayStation, I can select it and click the down arrow right here. And then what happens is that you see the sales and totals for that particular data. As you can see, this like this. You can go back right here. So let me just go around on to reset and select out another uh, console right here. Click on the down arrow and you can see the drill down for that particular data as you can see right here. And that is how you can actually go around and then use the drill down option inside of tables in Google Data Studio. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.